Number 11. Suppose that your bathroom scale reads your mass as 65 kilograms with a 3% uncertainty. What is the uncertainty in your mass in kilograms? Okay, so first, what does this term uncertainty mean? Well, I think we can kind of all agree that it, it means that we're unsure, right? So, okay, we're unsure, so the, the scale reads out. So when you step on this thing, right, you step on the scale, I don't know what this is, but pretend it's a scale, and you step on it, and the scale will read 65 kilograms. But there's a 3% uncertainty associated with this measurement. So what that means is we're really unsure, and we're unsure by the value of 3%. Okay, so 3% of what? Well, 3% of the mass that was detected right, of the 65 kilograms. So when we're unsure, right, maybe the mass, maybe the true mass is 65 kilograms, right? Um, or maybe it's not, maybe it's 64 kilograms, or maybe it's 66 kilograms, right? It could be a little lower, or it could be a little higher. So this term uncertainty, I always want you to remember it as a plus or minus value, okay? So how to solve this particular problem is we take the mass, so we have 65 kilograms, that's what it measures, and then there's a 3% uncertainty associated with that. So let's take that value and multiply it by 3%, but remember, whenever you multiply percents, you really have to convert them into their decimal forms. Okay, so 65 times 0.03. So this comes out to be 1.95 kilograms. Okay, so this is the uncertainty, this value right here, uncertainty. Okay, now remember, uncertainty implies a plus or minus. So the only thing that I need to add into this value of the uncertainty is the plus or minus sign, because maybe it's plus 1.9 kilograms, or maybe it's minus 1.9 kilograms. So let me add that in now. So kilograms, so this is now the uncertainty. Okay, and now what we can do is now we can find the bounds of the uncertainty, right? So meaning I can take the original mass, 65 kilograms, add to that the 1.95 value of the uncertainty, and find the upper limit of the uncertainty. So just take out your calculator, plug that on in, and it comes out to 66. 0.95 kilograms. That's the upper limit of the uncertainty. And then to find the lower limit of the uncertainty, just subtract the 1.95 kilogram value. So the lower bounds will be 65 minus 1.95. So it comes out to 63.05 kilograms. So this would be the range that I just drew right in here. Okay. And again, you can write it that way. Another way to write it in a condensed uh, fashion would be to write something in this fashion. 65 kilograms plus or minus 1.95 kilograms. That would be a condensed way to write it instead of writing the upper and lower bounds. But all these should be acceptable. Remember, guys, if this helped you out, please subscribe. Thank you.